guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. guys welcome this is sherry here so this is going to be a twin flame reading uh for june the 17th until the 28th my birthday is on the 27th so this will be a special reading all right so I've, i got my two decks here let's give them a quick shuffle so actually came to a major realization um, in terms of my subs and view count. It was revealed that I um, lost my tags along the way. So for the past two months, I haven't had any tags accompanying my videos. So that makes a huge, huge difference. And uh, to me, you know, it was a relief to find that out, but at the same time, I shouldn't be attached to anything, right? The, the success of this channel, um, you know, I shouldn't be uh, see myself reflected in the channel because this channel has nothing to do with me um, personally, right? And so the channel fluctuates and you know that's just the way things go so this is actually the high priestess card using your intuition or psychic ability um, to discover those deep truths and that's exactly what I did which actually goes along with the last twin flame reading because it, you know all will be revealed is the title that I chose all right, so let's pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the position. So we'll start with the feminine side. And the masculine. Okay, and so for the union energy, we'll use romantic, what is this, oh, why do I always forget, um, Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. All right, so let's begin. So the overall energy, very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. So this card is asking you to make a decision. You know, you're, you're afraid to give your heart, but it could also mean that something's gonna happen very soon. So I'll just read the highlights. So what do you want? This card demands that you ask this question um, and decide, send that vibration out into the universe. And as soon as you are perfectly straightforward with what it is that you desire, it comes to you. So be clear and honest with yourself and formulate your request with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions your, for yourself and what's best for you. Okay, the overall energy, very soon, make a decision. So something may come to light or, you know, you will make a decision. Um, and remember, oh, actually you guys won't be seeing this, but um, for the mid-month energy reading, the feminine side was conflicted and needed to make a decision in order to open up her heart. So, you know, that energy may be coming from the feminine mostly. All right, so let's begin with the feminine side here. We got the chariot in the past. So this is pursuing things that make you emotionally 
fulfilled, um, but also, you know, this is control, directed energy towards your target, overcoming challenges, obstacles. In the mid-month energy reading, the feminine had the eight of wands in her emotional space, so there was this uplifting, uh, vibrant energy emotionally, um, and her soul was the ten of cups. So for the um, mid-month energy reading, this that's for the Patreons only. Uh, so I won't re be releasing that video to the public, but I'll mention it once in a while. Um, yeah, so taking control of her life, pursuing things that make her happy. Going surfing even. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of ironic. Ah, oh, geez. That fell right under... I'm just going to have to pause it for one second. Sorry, guys. Yeah, actually, I went to the beach yesterday. And uh, I live on the West Coast, so surfing is a big thing here. And um, it, it's a scorcher right now. It is so hot. Um, and so it's a very busy weekend for surfers. A lot of people coming in from out of town and stuff. And it's just really great to be on the beach and running into people that I know. And we actually moved... Um, a little bit more inland on on the island uh, so most of my friends are in Tofino and Eucalypt so it was really nice to run into some people that I hadn't seen for a long time I haven't been out that way for about a, a, a year so yeah surfing crazy synchronicity for me anyway again I'm not trying to make this about myself um, I just kind of wanted to point that out all right for the masculine side we have wow heart chakra his, he's feeling love. He's an open vessel, giving, receiving love. Um, yeah, what more can I really say about that? So maybe I'll just pull an additional card here. What the heck? Oh, okay, that one. Supportive people. So he's making connections. He's feeling supported. He, you know either by his friends, family, um, but this reading is a twin flame connection, so the feminine, um, you know, he feels that way towards her, mostly, I guess. Okay, so in the present position for the feminine, ten of pentacles. In the mid-month, um, the feminine had the ten of cups and the ten of swords in the uh, the Ten of Swords was in the mental space, so a lot of tens, a lot of endings, feeling completed. All right, now, so the Ten of Pentacles is all about the 3D reality, a long-term goal realized, or just feeling very comfortable and provided for and successful within her own right. So, she feels achieved. In, in the physical and in the present. You know, she went after that thing that made her happy. She, you know, she pursued the things that made her come alive, um, took control of her life, and now she's seeing the fruits of her labor. The masculine present position, three of swords, heartbreak. Wow. So we got from, we, we're going from that heart chakra to, to a broken heart. And if I remember correctly, didn't we see that in the June energy reading where the masculine gave his heart and ended up having it broken and possibly from a karmic relationship? Um, now, in the mid-month, the masculine had... Um, oh gosh, it just slipped my mind. But the Three of Swords, you know, it's, it's a broken heart it's feeling betrayed. This is a mental card, so it needs to be healed. Okay. Hopefully that thought will come back. Sorry. Okay. So moving on to the near future for the feminine. Seven of Wands. So this is a very, you know, defensive pose, uh, but it's also a powerful uh, pose. It's like speaking up for yourself. Not backing down, not surrendering, not giving up, but holding your ground. So the feminine may 
you know, may need to express herself or, or hold her stance for whatever reason. So let's just pull a little additional card for that. What do you mean by the seven of wands? Laziness. Laziness. Um, maybe accusing somebody of being lazy. Um, maybe the feminine has been withdrawn from the connection. So this could be her energy of being lazy and then finally, finally coming out of the darkness, expressing herself finding courage and power to express herself. Very soon, remember, it's all about making a decision. So there's this feeling that the feminine feels ready or accomplished. She had to work on herself first. And this could be possibly that that decision is made, whatever it is. The sun, near future, so everything works out after all. The most positive card, yang energy as well, leadership, um, not really leadership actually. Um, this card more has to do with new beginnings, feeling free, innocent, um, celebrating life. So it may be good news. All right, so let's leave the final outcome for later. Uh, let's see what the feminine is bringing into the union. Transformation, death card. So, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of tans on the feminine side. So, she's transitioning into a more beautiful um, new beginning, right? She's letting go of the past. She's cutting away the rot, the decay, the things that no longer serve her. She had the Ten of Swords in the mental space, but she also had the Two of Swords in the physical, like, you know, and then the Four of Swords in the spiritual. So there is a lot happening with the feminine in the mental. And I believe it's all that stuff that she's finally cutting away and allowing herself to open up like a butterfly, rising from the chrysalis, being reborn. The masculine, no way. So the masculine actually got this card in the physical space for the mid-month. Yang energy, the divine masculine, authentic. Um, the pr protector, the provider, the, you know, what I feel here, since it's the energy he's bringing into the union, it's unconditional divine love. Okay, so what is the foundation? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this is getting away uh, to be alone, um, to connect. So it says, I'm just going to read the highlights. So yeah, time alone together. Reignite the spark. The honeymoon period. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to get away to nurture your romantic love. So as a foundation, there's this desire to come together to show each other how much you love each other right and maybe that's why we see that emotional movement and control on the feminine side and the heart chakra on the masculine you know even though his heart is broken in the present he's still the, the divine masculine in terms of the union so this could be the masculine cutting away that karmic codependency oh that's what i wanted to say in the mid-month no Oh my gosh. For the overall message from the universe, the card was codependency. So maybe this is the masculine cutting away those codependent relationships, especially as a divine. He 
He wants to feel true love. Crowning. True love. Oh my God. This is a romance of the lifetime. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Um, so yeah, you pull this card because true and lasting love is here for you. So this card validates that the relationship is in, of a divine nature. You both have the ability to overcome issues if you express your feelings. So do just that genuine love. It is, you both feel that this connection is true love. The masculine desires it, knows it as well. But again, there's a sense of possibly a karmic energy uh, or he's waiting for the feminine to make a decision. But it's at the heart space, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, you know, this really goes along with codependent, or not, sorry, uh, it's like addictions, uh, unconscious behaviors uh, that all stem from your family, right? You're conditioned to behave a certain way and you don't realize it. The answer to your prayers are about, um, about your love life are based on feelings about your mother and father. So you need to release old anger. Um, your choices are being influenced by this, you know, holding on to old anger. So forgiveness is essential. Forgive, forgiving someone doesn't mean you need to endorse their behavior, right? It's a form of detoxification. I'm no longer willing to carry toxic energy within my mind and body. So in the heart space, there is healing. Um, you know, the death card is putting an end, cutting away a death to those negative thoughts, you know, detoxifying. We need that. We see that need in the Three of Swords as well. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. Crown chakra. Yes, yes, yes. Illumination. Pure consciousness. Connection with the divine. Oh, yes, ladies. Beautiful. You return to that pure state of consciousness because you know it's true love. Masculine. Throat chakra. So two chakras activated on the masculine side the seventh chakra activated on the feminine. So he will express himself. He will say what's on his mind. He's come to a realization of truth. The mid-month energy reading the overall card was hearing the calling of your soulmate. The masculine can hear it hear his heart and hear the feminine in his heart but like I said um, there is possibly an addiction because that turned up with the codependent card as well right this is all about um, the inability to let go of something and the feminine is is doing that She's transforming herself, letting go of the past, finding her own strength. And yeah, nothing but positive things will be happening this week. All right, so let's pull two final cards. 
And I think I'm going to use something different. I haven't used the good tarot for a while, so let's do that. So this is Call It Baron Reed. Wisdom of the Oracles, Dorian Virtue. Okay, one card for the feminine. King of Earth. And for the masculine, Page of Earth. Interesting. So the Page of Earth usually represents, you know, a new adventure, a new start. Uh, the King of Earth is somebody who is very successful. You can see that energy definitely over here. Hold on a minute. Sorry. Okay. Page of Earth. So since the page showed up first, let's read that one. So the masculine, your message from the universe. Commitment to prosperity, first signs of tangible success, undeniable evidence that hard work will pay off, dreams grounded in reality, start of a new project. Now, for the mid-month energy reading, the masculine had the three of pentacles in his emotional space. So what I see here is, you know, that sense of foundation, groundedness, um, feeling that, you know, that Ten of pen Pentacles is tangible, it's, a, it's there, you know, and he is the Yang twice so far, right, here and here, and the Yang would be feeling the unconditional love of the heart chakra as well, um, okay, so everything starts with a plan, and I am beginning to see results generate pr prosperity. I am a doer and I get to make my own decisions. I have the ability to track what I need. Okay, so the Yang or the Emperor is somebody who makes decisions, who looks long term, wants to create this, you know, supportive, um, safe, secure space for his family and that's very similar to the king of pentacles as well but the the this masculine energy encompasses all elements in one okay so the king of pentacles for the feminine enterprising philanthropy Ability to attract abundant wealth, magnanimous, conscious manifesting, a reliable leader. I have trust and faith in the invisible and know it will manifest in the realm of form uh, the way I need it to. Opportunity can be found anywhere and everywhere. Because I am a competent and committed, I am ready for abundance to manifest now in a world of conditions in and a form that is aligned with my higher good. I manifest all that I desire, consciously aware of the need to stay focused and grounded in the everyday work required. Um, you know, I see this focus, this concentration control for, you know, to get that long-term goal. I feel that you've already achieved that. The message from the universe is, you know, to really realize that feminine that you have all that you need um, you are successful powerful you can achieve whatever you desire and you desire true love and I feel that that will be manifested in your life all right so I do help this I hope this helps uh, so please leave a message, uh, comment below, I mean, um, subscribe, uh, like, and share. All right, I will see you next week, guys. Cheers. Welcome back to the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. So I'm going to continue with the Romance Angels by Doran Virtue. So these cards will represent the present position.
Okay, and um, let me give my tiny decks a little shuffle because I'll be pulling a past and future. So the feminine side, present position, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love. Um, this was actually the main message from the universe for the mid-month energy read for the feminine. It is safe to open your heart, trust uh, and in the divine connection. Okay, so this is coming in in the past. So that coupled with the chariot, um, what I'm seeing here is, you know, my eye, uh, this horse really caught my eye. There's a power behind it. The, the white horse represents purity. So she was questioning the connection um, and ultimately decided to pursue possible things that make her happy. Not necessarily the twin flame connection, but um, it's almost like there's this question in the back of her mind. Can I trust? The answer is yes past we have the eight of fire and nine of swords cool synchronicity um, we have the ten of swords in the mental space in the mid-month so in the future past we have you know her coming to completion of, of um, letting go of fears letting go of the, that mental noise so she also had the eight of fire in the emotional space for the mid-month and so that's coming in the past, that's sending po positive vibrations out and into the universe. Um, Cupid's arrows and, you know, ha having that energy return to you. So she has been sending positive vibrations out. She's been pursuing things that make her happy, taking control of her life. But mentally, there's still these fears that continue to control her and so that is a main theme for the feminine that will be coming to an end hopefully well yes it will because we got the crown chakra so we have playfulness in the present position so recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit uh, of fun to shine so being in that you know kind of playful flirty energy it's you know you feel love you feel connected with another person right so what I'm seeing with this is recapturing that romance um, feeling playful again feeling flirty again right and it's because of somebody who is supporting him making him feel loved so the past king of swords future four of cups so the King of Swords is could represent an air sign or you know this somebody has mental clarity, makes decisions. Uh, they're also emotionally disconnected. So he's gone from you know that ice king into love, into play. And then the future we have the four cups though. So this is somebody who's disconnected, feeling like things aren't moving forward, turning your back, abandoning ghosting and of course that leads to the three of swords in the, in the present position so this might be a self-fulfilling prophecy but there was a happiness there that is still that you still feel that love so the present um, we had the ten of pentacles Okay, as a main energy card, so the confirmation is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this card actually, it talks about that you are financially secure. The Ten of Pentacles is feeling completed. It's retirement, reaching that long-term goal, right? So you are focused on your career, pursuing things that, you know, make you feel emotionally alive. And connected taking control of your life 
However, the sub-message to this card is to play again. Past. Hangman. Future. Four of Cups. Same card over here. So, we have the Hangman, which is a perspective shift in the past. Um, it's also an emotional card, so you let go of control. Um, you're kind of an observer, see how things play out, seeing things in a different light. So you've surrendered, let go of this connection. You know, you, you, you don't want to control it. The future, Four of Cups, again, stagnation, feeling like somebody has turned their back. So, you know, we see an indication of something happening in the near future. So this could be the feminine. We'll see. Okay, so the present for the masculine, we had the Three of Swords, heartbreak, loss. The confirmation ca uh, card is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is a very strong twin flame card. Twin flame connection is all about ascension, enlightenment. They are here to awaken you. So, you know, even though there's pain in his heart, there's this feeling of desiring something more enlightened, you know, more uplifting, more spiritual. And, you know, what I'm really noticing is this, you know, this energy is looking towards a connection. You know, in terms of the, the union, the masculine was bringing in the um, emperor, but what caught my eye is it looks like the two of them are looking at each other. Okay, so past the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles past position could represent Earth. Uh, the Cups is water sign. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, over the overall energy over here, we had the King of Pentacles as a message from the universe. Um, we also have the Ten of Pentacles, accomplishment financial security, independence, um, provider, is what, uh, you know, the King of Pentacles represents is, is the provider, you know, uh, he wants to create this safe environment, but he is also somebody who um, achieves the Ten of Pentacles, so does the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles wants to create a beautiful home, though. She is somebody who, you know, wants to make the house homey, comforting. She enjoys beautiful things. Again, she is financially independent. So, you know, this Queen of Pentacles, if it's a karmic relationship, caused him heartbreak. And it looks to me like he's pursuing somebody who is more, you know, emotional, who, um, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She gives love unconditional. So it's almost like there's a choice here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could also represent the feminine who is very grounded, successful, and he desires to be with her in the 3D again because he can't. It's causing him heartbreak. Um, yeah, she's like the mother and this one is more of, you know, a connection of the heart. Now, the, the confirmation card was a religious factors for the Three of Swords. So uh, what I'm feeling is, you know, a calling, hearing the calling um, to pursue things that are more emotionally, you know, better for him. or feeling that disconnect in the 3D and then pursuing that person. 
right? There's this disconnecting feeling here, the Four of Cups. Okay, so the near future for the feminine, we have the Seven of Fire. Speaking up, speaking out, having confidence, standing your ground. So the confirmation card is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes, so what I see here again is detoxification, letting go of the past, forgiving um, is helping yourself. You know, you don't forgive the person's actions, you're you're letting go of the pain, letting go of feeling betrayed. Right? It really speaks to who you are. So I feel she tells the masculine how she felt or just forgives in a spiritual sense. Um, in the mid-month energy read, the Two of Swords showed up with the um, You Hurt Me card in the 3D reality. So I see forgiveness. Oh, past, Knight of Swords, future, Yin. Beautiful. And that's why we see that, that crown chakra activation. The Knight of Swords is somebody who very winded, they're scattered, they're all over the place, but they're also thrill seekers, they're social butterflies. So there was movement forward. The feminine may have opened up and said some things or pursued something that was nagging at her. Um, or maybe she felt that this energy, the Knight of Swords, was somebody who was emotionally disconnected um, you know, replaying a, a conversation, you know, they don't mean to, to come off as emotionally disconnected. They're just, you know, really detached and in the moment they live for life. So forgiving and learning is what she's doing, but also there's this defensive pose. Uh, now, in the future, she moves into more nurturing, loving, gentle energy as the yin, divine feminine, crown chakra activation. You know, as a crowning energy, they both desire true love, but there's this question as to whether or not it is real. The masculine, um, near future present, is the sun, or, you know, yeah, near future <laughs> is the sun card, so the most positive card, it's number one, new beginnings. So the confirmation is calling in your soulmate. Of course, that's why you would be so happy. Uh, so this was also the overall energy for the mid-month. Right? Calling in, hearing, hearing the calling, actively putting vibrations out into the universe. Past, Six of Cups, Future, Knight of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Past Position, Reunion. So he desires to reconnect. Maybe he's reached out. Um, he's thinking about the feminine, you know, loving memories. And again, that's why he feels happy. There's new beginnings. Um, he feels hopeful. So the future we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now the message from the universe was the page of pentacles look to the future um, begin a new adventure and then now we got the night which is movement now this is the slowest moving night but he will arrive at his destination so what i'm seeing is possible reunion in the 3d I was picking up on a disconnect for sure in the 3D reality, especially with the feminine, with the Two of Swords and the You Hurt Me in the 3D. You know, there's um, a withdrawal, um, a pain, definite pain and fear of making a decision to let him in in the 3D. 
So let's leave the final outcome and we'll move into the union. So the feminine was bringing in transformation card, the death card. So, you know, this is cutting away what you don't need. It is death of the ego, death of your old identity, rising from the chrysalis, reborn. Confirmation, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So there's that it's safe to love again. You know, there's this hesitation. But in terms of the union, you know, she's really, really opening up now. She's exploring her feelings for the masculine. King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. So again, King of Pentacles coming in the past. Queen of Pentacles coming in the past. The message from the universe was the Page of Pentacles and, and King of Pentacles. So definitely there's something about the 3D reality um, that you know the universe is trying to point out here. Also with the Ten of Pentacles, financial you know, there's 3D concerns. Um, so the feminine is bringing the King of Pentacles from the past. So that's why she feels that Ten of Pentacles. It's, you know, groundedness, feeling successful. Um, you know, I'm almost feeling, you know, the King of Pentacles is masculine energy. I'm almost feeling like the masculine is going to show up at her door or something or be there for her in the 3D. She wants to reclaim that in her life. But she has her own shit to deal with, with the death card. She must clear away those unconscious negative energies in order to feel that love, allow it to, you know, in her life again. And with the Ace of Pentacles in the future, that looks like, you know, you know, abundance and, and the payoff coming towards her. What she wanted comes towards her. So there's a new beginning, 3D reality, and it's almost like the King of Pentacles is offering that new start. Similar feeling that I'm, I'm seeing in the near future for the masculine. Okay, so the masculine is bringing in yang. Very powerful energy. This also showed up in the mid-month in his physical reality. So his authenticity comes, or his power comes from authenticity. Right. Um, we have the yin coming in the future for the feminine, so that's great. So the confirmation is pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So what I'm feeling with this is a positive. He's starting to see how things are not as it seems. He's seeing how codependent connections are meant to hold him down, not free him. So he's paying attention to red flags. Queen of Fire, Seven of Wands. Queen of Fire coming in the past. So this is somebody who's very passionate, very vibrant, very um, charismatic, center of attention. She wants to be somebody. She is the light, shines her light for all to see and attracts the masculine. And so again, I'm seeing this attention to this person in the past who he desires. The, in the mid-month, the masculine had the night of fire in his soul, so that there's this movement forward towards this fire, towards this passion. A lot of fire right here. And in the future, the seven of wands. Same card that's coming in the near future on the feminine side, so speaking up, confidence, um, you know, expressing yourself, having courage to express yourself. But it is also a 
a defensive pose, but I'm not feeling that. I'm seeing a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of desire to connect and um, yeah. So I feel that he's definitely seeing signs of what doesn't work and what does work. So for the uh, foundation, we had honeymoon. So there's this desire to get away together, to sh express love, to be with your true love, and in union, together as one. So the feminine got, wow, heart chakra and page of fire. So the ignition, spark of inspiration, um, great news, great communication, new beginning, new adventure. So there may have been exciting news, uh, a desire to start a new beginning, to get away together and just be happy and playful. The feminine also got the heart chakra as a foundation. Love. A definite mirroring here that I feel. It's, it's, you know, I, I love you. I want to be with you. Let's get away together. So um, a lot of hope for the future that's coming from unconditional love. Wanting to rekindle that romance, those loving feelings. So true love was the crowning energy. It was the romance of a lifetime. So the feminine is bringing the strength and the masculine two swords. Okay, so um, indecision, mental conflict, and inability to move forward. And this card showed up again in the physical space along with you hurt me on the feminine side in the mid-month. So yeah, um, even though she's not reacting to it, she is definitely feeling it and closing herself off. But I don't feel her, um, I feel like she's cutting away those negative thoughts, trying to let go of the past. Now the masculine wants to make a decision. And it looks like he does with the throat chakra there. Okay, so this, the feminine's bringing the strength card. So this is love, kindness, compassion. Remember, supportive people card came in in the past with the heart chakra. So you want to create a, a loving space for the masculine. You want to support him. You want um, to feel connected. This card could also mean you need to tame that beast within control your impulses at the heart healing family issues so this is the past right um, not realizing that you have been conditioned and that your actions and your choices are based on family issues the page of cups a eight of cups so the masculine is walking away from an emotionally draining situation. Uh, he's embarking on a spiritual journey. So I feel that if there's an addiction or codependent relationship there, he is letting it go. He's seeing the truth. And there's a movement towards the soulmate. The feminine is bringing the page of cups. So sending out loving messages, being the muse desiring to connect, talk, right? It goes along with that romantic feelings. So in the heart space, there is love and a desire to connect on the feminine side and same thing on the masculine side. Okay, so final outcomes for the feminine crown chakra. Beautiful. Confirmation card is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Nice. So that's exactly what I was saying. You know, open yourself up. Flirt. Be playful. 
be open to the connection. That awareness comes from a very conscious space. So past, high priest, future, queen of fire. High priest, uh, I feel, is the masculine energy. Remember, religious factors was um, an important aspect for the masculine. He's seeing the light, hearing the calling. So there is illumination that comes from spirituality, and so the ma this could be the masculine or some or the feminine uh, connects with a vibe tribe. Either way, awareness comes. Now the future we have the Queen of Fire. You know the Queen of Fire is how the masculine sees the feminine in the past, and he's seeing the signs. And I feel the feminine stepping into this very uh, extroverted energy, shining her light, um, attracting positivity into her life, but flirting also. Okay, so we have the throat chakra as a final outcome for the masculine. Um, remember the seven of wands sh is showing up in the connection, so they're, you know, expressing himself. So there there may, may be something he needs to say. So the confirmation card, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Wow, supportive people. So as a final outcome, he reaches out or allows somebody in, you know, the feminine, and says what he's wanted to, to say. So the past, karma, future, wow, grand awakening card. So two major arcanas, um, justice showed up in the spiritual space for the mid-month. So that really talks about the law of attraction karmic energy also you know what you put out you get back um, so you know cause and effect kind of thing right so he is coming from a very positive vibrational space and what he has to say is truthful it's honest And yeah, he reaches out. Now the judgment card is in the future. This was actually in his mental space. And what I was I was feeling with that is he's hearing the calling. He's seeing the truth. Um, it's resurrection, rebirth, a new, you know, starting a new life, free of the past, um, free of obligations that have been put on you and openness all right so let's pull the final messages from the universe so i'm going to be using the osho zen what final messages do you have for the feminine first King of Swords and King of Cups. Little bonus up. Okay, so let's read the feminine first. So this is a message from the universe for the feminine. Below it says control. Controlled persons are always nervous because deep down turmoil is still hidden. If you are uncontrolled, flowing, alive, then you're not nervous. There is no question of being nervous. Whatsoever happens, happens. You have no expectations for the future. You are not performing. Then why should you be nervous? To control that mind, one has to remain so cold and frozen that no life energy is allowed to move into your limbs, into your body. If energy is allowed to move, those repressions will surface. 
That's why people have learned how to be cold, how to touch others and yet not touch them, how to see people and yet not see them. People live with cliches. Hello, how are you doing? Nobody means anything. These are just to avoid the real encounter of two persons. People don't look into each other's eyes. They don't hold hands. They don't try to feel each other's energy. They don't allow each other to pour, very afraid, somehow just managing cold and dead in a straight jacket. So I think the message is for you to open the fuck up once and for all, express your emotions, um, stop closing yourself off, embrace the yin within you. Okay, so the masculine only got the king of cups. Now this could be air and water. Okay. No, you carry your wound. With the ego, your whole being is a wound and you carry it around. Nobody is interested in hurting you. Nobody is positively waiting to hurt you. Everybody is engaged in safeguarding his own wound. Who has got the energy? But still it happens because you're ready to be wounded. So ready, just waiting on the brink for anything. You cannot touch a man of tail. Why? Because there is no one to be touched. There is no wound. He is healthy, healed, whole. This word whole is beautiful. The word heal comes from the whole. And the word holy also comes from the whole. He is whole, healed, and holy. Be aware of your wound. Don't help it grow. Let it be healed. And it will be healed only when you move to the roots. The less the head, the more the wound will heal. With no head, there is no wound. Live a headless life. Move as a total being and accept things. Just for 24 hours, try it. Total acceptance, whatsoever happens, happens. Someone insults you, accept it. Don't react and see what happens. Suddenly you feel an energy flowing in you that you have never felt before. So this is somebody who is open. All right, so I do hope this helped. Please leave a comment, um, subscribe, share, and like. All right, cheers, guys. See you next week.